Today we're going to re review the EcoFlow Delta II power station. It's the newest iteration from EcoFlow. The Delta II power station is a huge upgrade from the Delta. It now can do 3,000 cycles versus the Delta's 500 cycles. They did this by upgrading the battery to LFP battery chemistry, which has a lower density and is also safer. It's an amazingly fast charge time of 50 minutes to 80% capacity, or about 80 minutes to get it up to full capacity. It also comes with a five year warranty. As you can see, I just powered this bad boy up uh, after it being off for several weeks, and we're now up to 99% uh, battery. So it holds a charge perfectly. Uh, you can also pair it with the EcoFlow out app, which you can see right here which shows us that we've got 98 hours and 59 minutes of available battery charge time. That means with our capacity, it can charge a phone 89 times, a laptop 16 times. We could power a car fridge for 16 to 32 hours, and we can power a refrigerator for seven to 14 hours. This thing is built rugged and tough. As you can see on the front, we've got the LCD screen that shows us when we're paired um, with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. We've got two USB-A charges, and then we've got two fast charging USB. Uh, we also then have USB-C, uh, which is uh, the newer uh, USB two right here. You can turn it on and off. Once we click the button there, if we plugged in our USB, now we're actually gonna be, we could charge a phone like that. Uh, if we flip it around, flip side, we can now see that we've got the area to actually power it. So if you wanted to input your solar, you put that there. If you want to input here our traditional um, AC power, you're going to go ahead and plug this in here. This is also a reset breaker if there's ever any problem. You've got then your traditional power. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, just of the two prong powers, and then we've got two of the three prong. Same thing, if you wanna actually power here, I'm gonna click the button. Now we're turning on each individual component. That way the EcoFlow can conserve battery. Uh, and finally, uh, if we want to um, charge using a DC car adapter, we can pop this out and anything that you can charge in your car, you can now charge here um, and power, and power with the EcoFlow. So you've got ultimate versatility you've got 15 total outlets. And the dimensions on this thing, it's not very big. You can see, look, here's the phone, and here's this. It's 15 and a half inches long this way. It is 10.75 inches tall this way, and then it's eight inches wide at its widest point. This here is about six inches. Um, heaviness, it's a little heavy, it's 27 pounds. So if I lift it up, it's gonna, you definitely wanna lift two hands. Uh, but it's also nice and sturdy. Uh, like I said, it's made with the new uh, LFP battery for fast chemistry, uh, which makes it safer overall to use. So when we went out and started testing this product, it's brand new, it was just released in September, um, we brought it to the campsite and we were able to make it a total of 48 hours without charging this thing again, powering our car refrigerator. Um, so it's just pretty, pretty awesome uh, overall. I was very pleased with the performance of it. Um, we rated it in 9.8 overall for the power station. Uh, between the app functionality, between the actual <coughs> battery itself, the size of the battery, which fits in the car, uh, in between my two kids' seats, you really can't beat it. Um, it's so small and compact, but yet uh, powers a punch. And like I said, you can charge it with solar, you can charge it with um, AC. This thing will charge up super fast uh, when you're actually needing to get it charged up on the go, or you can just have it sitting around like I do. Uh, we haven't used it since the last time we went camping three weeks ago, and I charged it as soon as we got home, and now we're at 99% charge. So if there's ever an emergency or any other problem, uh, we are good to go. Just bring it back around for you to see. Again, <clears throat> been messing around with it. We're not actually using any of the battery. We're still at 99%. Same thing with the phone. It's gonna give us the available time of 98 hours and 59 minutes. We're not currently charging anything. If I was to plug something in, it would start to tell you whether we're using AC or whether we're 
how much we're using input or output. And then if we were charging, it would tell us the wattage for AC or for solar charging. So that's that. This is the EcoFlow Delta II power station.